Good morning. It's a mixed session uh, for European stock markets uh, this morning. Uh, directionless trade, I think, is what we're, what we're seeing uh, at the moment. A bit of risk off, bit of uh, muddling through. Really, the markets are looking at these midterm elections uh, uh, in the US and what they're what what's sort of coming out of those. Uh, Pennsylvania's gone the way of de the Democrats. That's a big loss for the Republicans, and that sort of red wave that uh, that many had expected has not come to fruition. So Republicans are doing well. They've, they've looks like they're securing the House of Representatives, uh, and the Senate remains on a knife edge. And if they take Nevada and Georgia, they could still uh, get a majority uh, to to win over the Senate. Uh, but it's uncertain now, especially after that Pennsylvania result. So the market just waiting to see what falls out from uh, the election. Generally speaking, everyone's saying that gridlock, so uh, a divided government, uh, is actually good for the market because it reduces the chances of tax cuts, it reduces the chances of big increases in spending and all that sort of uh, fiscal largesse that can uh, juice the economy and therefore make the Fed's job even harder and make the Fed have to raise interest rates more. So uh, the market is looking for a gridlock and then for a kick on into December and that December Fed meeting to see whether or not there's any dovishness. Now a lot will depend on tomorrow's CPI numbers. So we're looking for that one. Um, elsewhere, the dollar uh, has just been a little bit weaker, 109 and a half from the dollar index. So some way off its recent peaks and cable trading about 115. Uh, we've had some uh, results out uh, of the back of uh, Lyft last night. It uh, confirmed that it's losing market share uh, to Uber. Meanwhile, Marks and Spencer's numbers out and it's actually gained market share in the clothing sector for the first time in 10 years. And then the big news overnight really was that FTX uh, exchange uh, meltdown, which is uh, near collapse. It's been bailed out by rival Binance and the crypto space across the piece is under a heap of pressure. So Bitcoin trade, traded down to 16,800, bounced back to 18,000 this morning. All the crypto currencies, all the major ones on the platform uh, are, are weaker. And we've got that read across, of course, the likes of MicroStrategy, Coinbase and others that are in that space. So keep your eyes on that crypto space. It has potential to have repercussions for the broader market. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.